Hello everybody, Sai Starcraft here with another Heart of the Swarm commentary, Zerg vs. Terran. This time my opponent is Deimos Unstoppable. Um, well, he is playing Terran, so that's part of the Unstoppable portion, I would assume. But, uh, sorry about the only one video yesterday. Like I said, it was, I was celebrating my birthday doing a bunch of stuff, so I didn't want to go too crazy on the videos. I mean, I did three before, the day before that, didn't I? Uh, it is Wednesday. Normally I would choose Wednesday to be a streaming day, but, uh, I still kind of have a few more birthday things going on today, so, uh, if I do stream, I'd have to stop really early, and I think a lot of you, um, wouldn't even be home by then from school, work, whatever you happen to be doing, so... Not going to be streaming today. Probably Friday, though. Maybe even tomorrow. Maybe I'll do Thursday and Friday instead of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Do Monday, Thursday, Friday. Because, you know, I want to start my streaming schedule again. I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you've been seeing that it's much, much more enjoyable. Which is good. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So, it's a ZVT. Uh, I wish these drones were so stupid. Why does my frame rate seem so bad? It says 60, which is what Fraps is always maxed out at. Whatever. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let me restart it. Oh. Eh, it looks like it's about the same. We need to bring that drone down here, though. Dang it! Late drone is late! Hey, I didn't stop my overload this time. That's good. Get down there. Throw the hatchery down, you buffoon. Not that late. Still a little bit. Almost could have gotten another drone instead of throwing the hatchery down instead. But, uh, yeah. Oh! I thought I stopped it on the minimap. It wasn't moving. But false alarm. Overlord is still en route. En, en route? En route? I don't know. Uh, because my hatchery is light, I'm actually going to train up to 17 drones. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to do that. I mean, you'd just be waiting a little bit longer to start your queens. But, I don't know, I like to even out the completion of my spawning pool with the completion of my hatchery. So, since my hatchery is late, I'll get my spawning pool a little bit late and get the drones faster. The problem with that is the Reapers uh, will have more potential to do damage against me uh, because my pool is late. But, not everyone gets Reapers. And usually, if you micro your dr drones pretty well, you can prevent any Reaper damage anyway. So let's hope everything goes according to plan. I have 16 workers on all the minerals, so I'm actually going to rally that guy down here. Probably won't be able to mine right away, but uh, I like doing that better than having this guy bounce around. Well, actually, I guess I don't have 16 because I'm putting guys on gas, so I probably could have kept him at the main. But, you know, not a big deal. It's one of those small things that actually doesn't matter too much. His SCV scout has scouted me, hence being called an SCV scout. Queen on the way, queen on the way. And just one set of lings, you can return that patch, you little goofball. And now, rallying my drones to my natural. Transferring, as many of you have learned a long time ago, actually isn't really worth it. You lo lose out on a lot of production early on by doing a transfer. It looks like the SV is prepared to make a little wall, yeah. Setting down a bunker or a supply depot? If it's a, probably a bunker, yeah. There's the bunker. You guys are done on gas. Starting my speed. I do have an overlord on the way. Things you can go out and do a little bit of pushing and prodding and scouting and stuff like that. Gonna position these overlords in the air pads just to see. Uh, thank you. Just to uh, plan ahead for any medevacs. Getting another overlord for when the larva pops. And gonna rally the drones back to their original location. Oh, shit! He's got two marines in there. Stupid queens. And they're stupid zerglings. There's the other overlord. Alright. Making more drones. And let's put back on gas, because we're going to start fairly fast two base mutas and then get a slower third base. Oh, especially since he's going another command center. Holy shit. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to actually start the gases right now. That is a very fast third command center, and you could choose to expand when you see that, like take a pretty fast third, which is what, you know, he'd normally do. Or you can be a dummy dummy head and go for faster mutas, which is what I'm doing. Speed is up. Let's start the uh, lair. He might even scan just because he's going to have a lot of orbitals. He's going to have a lot of money coming in and he wants to see if I am doing something like a fast tech, which is exactly what I'm doing. I don't see an SCV scouting down there. Let's go ahead and spread these tumors. Where are the overlords? Oh, there are. 17, 17. I'm fine with that. Let's get one more on each, actually. There we go. And... 
spread. Creep, 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 creep. Baneling nest, probably good as well. As well as a couple of evos. Not sure if I'm going to need those evos right away. Maybe didn't need them. Start at third. Don't have any... I should just put this thing on the watchtower. I don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, so I'm... Good saturation at my first two bases. Macro hatch wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to start a queen. What is this? Oh, Bane Mist. Or start my spire, rather, not a queen. <clears throat> let's do... Let's go ahead and start a macro hatch. As well as the upgrades. So, I'm using a lot of gas on upgrades and bailing nests and stuff like that. So, um... Not gonna have a ton for mutas. I don't expect him to push out with anything just because he does have 3 CC so soon. Hopefully that holds true. I don't see anything on the mini map. I don't see him ex trying anything. He's got a tank. You can be an extractor. You can be an extractor. Spire is almost done. It should line up sort of well with the inject, but not quite. Three, three, and now Creep Queen can go there. You can inject. I think my injects are really good this game. I've actually gotten rid of all my Creep Queens, though, to put them back onto hatcheries. So Lings, is my Spire done yet? Almost. <coughs> spire completes. Mutas on the way. So hopefully... <clears throat> Even though he has a quicker third, the fast mutas will be able to do plenty of damage, so the third doesn't matter too much. Gotta saturate this base, though. This macro hatch is gonna help a lot. Like a ton, ton, ton. No turrets. Just now turning out the barracks. There's a the medevac. Oh, didn't kill it. Ooh! Oh, it targeted Amina. That's good. Saturate these. And we do have... Oh, gotta kill the medevac. We still have the widow mine here. Didn't kill any drones, so that's good. This one killed a couple drones, but that's not too bad. Viking... Plus two is going to be starting soon. Unfortunately, my mutas aren't going to do much damage to his economy now because of that. So that was actually a really good whatever he did there. Because <clears throat> it uh, kind of forced me to keep my mutas at base for a bit. Yeah, and there's the missile turrets. Got to start my plus two uh, melee carapace. He doesn't actually have that landed. He's just doing, using it for SCV production, it seems. Okay, I don't know why he didn't land that. He's getting a lot of lings. Good saturation on everything. I guess I can put this here. I kind of want to spread my overlords, though. The reason he used those Vikings was to clear my overlords so he can drop. So let's get that spread back since we now have map control with a lot of mutas. Our economy is really good, so I actually want to get a fairly fast hive. Upgrade. Need more upgrades for my mutas. Keeping an eye on the minimap. Oh, hello. Always feels good. Oh man. Lots of marines. That's fine, I've got banelings. Overlord spread is happening. Not saturating this place very well, am I? So abusive. Got a lot of lings.
He's 2 2. I'm almost 2 2. Swarm host. Holy shit. This guy is he's killing me with marines. I've got the same upgrades as him. More banelings I needed? All my overlords are dead. Holy fuck. Are you kidding me? How does how does that work? I guess I could have just rallied everything back down here and gotten banelings. Jesus Christ! Just one fucking unit. Well, two, I guess. Marines and Widow Mines. <sighs> I mean, instead of just rallying into him, I thought I had him. I could have just composed myself back down here and made more Widow Mines, or made more Banelings, but that's fucking ridiculous. How we can just be on two base and push out like that, and just fuck over such a huge Ling army. So dumb. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Fucking joke race. Feel like I had a good engagement, and I guess I just didn't rally properly. Whatever.